are Sprinklerinos, my name is Louise, I make new videos on a Monday and Thursday so do subscribe and today we are going to be talking about our 2016 goals and I am excited. <laughs> As you may have watched in Monday's video, I hope you have, it's linked below or at the end, um, I talked about everything that happened last year and then at the very end I left you on a cliffhanger and said that my trip to Seattle is where everything changed for me. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that, talk about my personal goals, my Glitter World goals and then at the end I want to talk about ways that you guys can help and be involved too. 2015, as you will know if you watched Monday's video, was incredible. Uh, so much happened in Glitter World. We launched two books and a live tour and a million different trips to New York and LA and Orlando and Seattle uh, and all sorts of places. Everything in Glitter World last year just went like with like just took off and it was incredible and then similarly, similarly in my personal life I found it very very challenging to adjust to living on my own and um, just being a single parent and doing all the things that I was having to do um, to like deal with whilst I was also dealing with this incredible career that was happening. Basically what I'm saying was it was just a lot of stuff on my shoulders, some good, some bad. So by the end of the year, as I talked about, I'm not going to talk about too much, as I talked about in the other video, I was really, really struggling and really having a hard time. So I packed my bags and Darcy and I flew off to Seattle um, to visit the Bits and Clips family who are basically my happy place. If ever you can't find me, I am probably in Seattle. And the way I would describe it is I went there with a tray and on the tray was everything from 2015, all the good things and all my obligations, and by obligations I mean like, you know, childcare, work, little things, like having my car MOT'd and going to the opticians, everything, all those things. I also had on it stuff I didn't need. So I had worked myself up and I'd got so exhausted that I was taking on things I did not need to, like my perceived views of what people thought of me or my worries for the future. I had a lot of what ifs, like what if such and such does this and then this happens and this happens, that could be terrible or what if this falls through and then this will happen and this repercussion and what if this, that and the other and so much stuff and like hard, hard things to think about all on this tray and I was carrying them all and my heart was very heavy and then I went to Seattle and I just put my tray down and focused on Darcy and Marie and her family and everything we were doing each day and it took like a solid week before I fully felt like relaxed and like regrouped and when I left I just picked up my tray and the only things I put back on were the things I really needed to put on there so I put on there Darcy, me and work and they're the only three things that I am focusing on this year. I'm not going to stress about all the other things that really my stressing about has no bearing on their outcome. There's a lot of things that I can't control that I was so worried about last year that this year I'm just gonna be like, it's out of my control. Let people just do whatever they want to do and I just have to have hope and trust that other people make good choices and all I have to make sure is that I make good choices. So that is my plan. Um, my personal goals for this year are to jam-pack Darcy's year with amazing mummy Darcy, like mummy and me days and mummy and me adventures and little moments because I have so many amazing memories with my mum. She died when I was seven but I feel like I have a lifetime of memories in those, it's seven years but I only remember from being about four so in those three years I feel like I've got enough memories to like see me through for my whole lifetime and it's my goal to like pack Darcy with even more amazing memories and do fun things with her and like teach her like good things and like let her know forever how like very cherished and loved she is to me because Darcy by far and above was the best thing of 2015 and 2014 and 13 and 12 and 11. Uh, Darcy is just the best thing in my life so 
I can't think of another reason why I wouldn't want to focus on the very best thing in my life. So she is going to be my, obviously, main focus. But then also Sprinkle of Glitter World, I have a lot of big plans for, which we'll talk about in a second when I talk about glitter goals. But also I want to focus more on myself and my own well-being and make sure that I don't get to a point where I did last year where I was just like pushing everyone away and really struggling and feeling quite down. So this year I have already started making a lot more time for my friends, like a lot, lot more. I think every weekend till about mid-February, is booked up now, we're doing things and I've arranged stuff like pizza night um, with some friends like in the evening and going out with my friends here and just making more time for everybody so that I am more enriched by their love because I'm so loved by these people and I need to like let them love me and love them back. This all sounds very twee and like I might vomit any second so I'm gonna shut up now. I also want to do a bit more exercise and drink more water and eat more vegetables and all that kind of caper. I think I say that every single year. <laughs> glitter gets fitter, lol lol lol. Last year glitter got fatter so <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. Uh, and also I want to declutter my life because this house is bursting at the seams with just a whole load of crap and I want to streamline, I want to like get rid of about 50% of everything I own. So if you live in Northampton, the charity shops are gonna be absolutely full with all my stuff. And then Glitter World, I think this is the one that will be most exciting to you. I feel like because I took so much junk off my life tray, I have a lot more space to do a lot more stuff. And if you think that, um, all the stuff we did last year, all the amazing things was done whilst I didn't feel like I was working to my full potential and I felt like um, I wasn't always happy. Like I was happy a lot, but I wasn't always happy. If I can do all of that in that state, imagine what I can do now I feel like peaceful and relaxed and like happy and ready. Um, I am excited for this year. Things I really want to do. I want to vlog a lot more on my second channel, Sprinkle of Chatter. I really enjoy doing Vlogmas. I'm not sure I want to commit fully to strict daily vlogs but I definitely want to be putting like multiple videos up a week so do make sure you're subscribed to Spring of Chatter. Um, I also want to write another book. I don't fully know what I want to write about yet but I really enjoy the writing process and I really enjoyed all your feedback and I really enjoy having a book on my shelf that I wrote so I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about things I want to write about, if you've got any suggestions let me know. Um, I want to be making more videos for this channel. I want to be quite strict about doing on a Monday and a Thursday um, and uploading like at a proper time, like probably between about four and seven. Um, I'm just gonna get a bit more organized and scheduled with that. Um, and my main like big dream goal, which all the other ones I feel like are attainable, like yes, I can do more daily vlogs, yes. Um, I could write another book if I wanted, but this one is one that's like quite a stretch, but I would really love to do it. I would really, really like to be on Strictly Come Dancing. Um, we talked about it a lot last year, and thank you to everyone that got involved with the Twitter campaigns. I'm going to be doing more this year. Um, I really want to dance on Strictly Come Dancing. I love to dance, I love all the glamour and the glitz of it, I want to wear the tresses, I want to like waltz around that ballroom and feel the wind in my hair as I am swept around by a handsome man whilst I work on my footwork and keep my arm lines nice and then have Len tell me that I didn't keep my arms nice. I just really want to do it so badly, I think it would be like the most fun I've ever had in my life. So fingers crossed that <laughs> maybe they see this and go, yeah, all right, that, that'd be great, Louise. But that's my, that's my dream. I got a dream, I got a dream. Name that Disney film. Um, then ways that you can be involved. There's lots of ways you can be involved this year. One, you can be involved just by being a watcher of the channel. That's all that really you have to do to qualify to be a sprinklerino. But I've noticed that this community is so much more than people just watching the videos. I've noticed that all the comments are so lovely. A lot of YouTubers get so much rubbish and hate and I often think like, why is this not happening to me? I mean, I'm glad it's not. Don't start, but I'm always very grateful. And not only do I see you writing nice comments to me, I notice that you write nice comments to each other, which is remarkable because you don't know each other, you don't owe each other anything, but just because you are like a loving community, I notice a lot of support. So someone might say, oh, I'm struggling with this or, um, what do you guys think about this? And then a whole conversation ensues where you are very lovely to each other. So I'd like to see more of that because that like 
that fills my heart with happy. Um, also, I would love it if you would be involved on social media like Twitter and Insta and get involved in like the little campaigns we do, like Get Louise on Strictly, that was a good hashtag. But also, I ask on there a lot, like what questions do you want me to answer and blah, blah, blah. So it's a good way for us to communicate. Um, and also, if I could ask a favour of you, you don't have to do this, just the ones that want to, I would really like to grow Sprinkle Glitter and Sprinkle Chatter this year because the further I grow the channels, the more opportunities I'm able to take which benefit all of us because they're exciting and like it's either stuff you can have like clothes or books or tickets to things or um, like amazing like meetup style things, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, the more I grow stuff, the more of that stuff we can have. So. That would be amazing and all you have to do is just maybe tell your friends be like hey subscribe to this channel or share a video on one of your social media or be involved in those ways i'm sure you can think of ways to do that but that would be great if you wouldn't mind helping me out and helping us out i would really 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 appreciate it it wouldn't go unnoticed and also i would like you to tell me what you want this year. Do you want another book? You might not. Do you want some merch, some other stuff? Do you want more meet and greets? And by meet and greets, I mean like, I don't like to do the ones where you just like line up for ages and then get like a smile and a selfie. I really liked that like choose happiness party in the park thing. I really loved that because we all hung out or played with all those like fun games and stuff. If you can think of something like that, let me know because you might have this amazing idea that I haven't thought of. Basically what I'm saying is, tell me what you want. I will do my best to give it to you. It's a two way thing, like I've got to enjoy what I'm doing but also you've got to want to enjoy it too. So what I'm saying is, tell me and I will do it because I love you. And that really is it. I would love to hear what your 2016 goals are and if you like any of these or if any of them are the same. And I will see you all on Monday for a haul video. Thanks for watching, bye. <laughs>